thinking about strength training in specifically, or um, getting stronger in general, is that we have a principle of, um, called neural adaptation. Basically what happens, most of the strength gains we're gonna see for the first, between four and six weeks, aren't gonna actually be due to the muscle getting larger. Okay. It usually takes four to six weeks for the muscle to actually increase in cross-sectional area, but strength will be increasing this whole time. This is a principle called neurological adaptation. In other words, your nervous system is just becoming more efficient at making the muscles contract. Okay? It's sort of like walking through a field. The first time I walk through the field, you know, we're walking through the grass, we're beating it down a little bit, but I don't have too much of a path. But the more I continue to do that, the more of a path I create. Well, we're doing the same thing in the nervous system. The motions that we're performing in all of these activities need to become ingrained in your nervous system. And that takes about two to three months to be able to do that on a regular basis. So most of our changes initially are due to neurological changes, not physiological changes that are going to occur in the muscle. That's not to say that there can't be a training effect or I can't increase capillarization or mitochondrial content or glycogen content or a muscle's ability to work anaerobically and recycle lactic acid. But what it means is the majority of the strength changes I'm going to see early are going to be secondary to that phenomenon.